But God is letting us know, just like he was showing us in here today with everyone's testimony, that what I have for you is so much better mm -hmm. than what you could ever hold on to and have for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so what I want you to do is to let go of creating desires and affections mm -hmm. and appetites for things in the world. And I want you to come into the kingdom and begin to eat from my table. I don't want you to eat from Nebuchadnezzar's table anymore. I want you to eat from my table. I want you to eat from the table of goodness and the table of peace and the table of joy and the table of healing. I want you to eat from a table where you don't have to watch your back anymore. I want you to eat with me. And so he says here, he says, my child, give me your heart. So let go of the desires that you have of this world and delight in my ways. Pay attention to the things that I do. Understand the things that I do, right? Give glory and praise to the things that I do. Mm -hmm. Because if we think about God's ways, mm -hmm. everything that everybody was talking about in here today was us delighting in God's ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were delighting in how good he was, how sovereign he is, how consistent he is, how faithful he is, how he's brought us two and a half years to this point, mm -hmm. how we were saved this morning, how we all have sound minds this morning. And we don't necessarily know how any of that was done other than that we said yes. Mm -hmm. And so the way that it was done was God's way. Yes. And so God is letting us know to delight in his ways. Turn your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 3. And verse 5. So to make it consistent with our lesson about giving up, we are giving up our ways, our desires, our appetites, and the rule over our own heart so that we can have the things of God. Proverbs chapter 3, starting at verse 5, says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. We all are so smart in here. <laughs> And our mind, again, is part of that soul, that mind and us, uh, heart connection in the soul. And we have a tendency, and we have tendency to always lean on our own understanding because, once again, I understand what I have in this hand. I don't understand what could potentially be coming over here. And so God is letting us know that we have to let go of our understanding of how the world works and how things work and how we're gonna get ahead in this life. Because if I continue to be the old person that I was before and try to lean on that understanding, it wouldn't work today. It would, I wouldn't have made it here today. Brother James just said that he, forgive me if I'm, it just, a thought just slipped my mind, but he was explaining that what he was before is not what he is now. And somebody had to come into his life and help him get a brand new understanding, thank you, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. a brand new understanding for him to be able to get to this point. Mm -hmm. Now, if he had just been invited to Cahal those number of years ago when he got saved, he probably wouldn't have stayed. Mm -hmm. But he had to go through the process. You all are having to go through a process. Yeah. I'm going through a process. We're all in here having to go through a process to get to the point that we're on now. And, and it's, not as much, it's not just getting invited here and coming in. It's about being drawn here and led here. And so God is letting us know that we cannot lean on our own understanding to be able to advance in life. We can't lean on our own understanding to be able to uh, have blessings in our life and the things of life, uh, God that we want to have. It's not about that. It's not about works. It's about letting God lead us. So we'll continue. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. And then he says in verse 6, In all your ways acknowledge God, and he will direct your paths. And he says, Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Yes. Right? So we're trusting in God with all our heart. We're not leaning on our own understanding. We're acknowledging him, allowing him to direct our path, and we're not being wise in our own eyes. And we're fearing the Lord, meaning respecting God, meaning uh, putting him first, meaning paying him great reverence, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're going to give up anything, we have to give up our ability to run our own lives, mm -hmm. to do things in the, in the mindset that we used to have before, 
<laughs> to uh, do things with our own plans. You know how we are. You know, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say this and I'm going to do that and they're going to do this and then I'm going to end up with that. You know, that don't work for us anymore. <laughs> I remember when Marlo just recently uh, was having a situation where she had the car, um, the car accident, and somebody had given her some ungodly counsel about how she should go about, about remedying the car repair situation. Mm -hmm. And she, I remember that she leaned on the understanding of God. She said, I'm a, I'm a new person, I can't do that anymore. I can't do the stuff I used to do before. And they don't understand that me doing it that way. Then they call me stupid and foolish as well. Into I remember, see, I listened. <laughs> And uh, she ended up doing it God's way, and she's in a better situation than she was before. And I believe that each and every one of us in this room uh, can think of a situation where we chose not to lean on our understanding and lean, leaned on God's understanding, and we ended up in a better situation, mm -hmm. a better position, mm -hmm. a lasting position. Two more scriptures, Isaiah 55. <sighs> 55, verse 8. Just to drill it in, um, Isaiah 55, starting at verse 8 through 9. Here's a reason why we're going to do things our own way. I, I don't know if I've said this to you guys before, but when we go to a parade, God has the view from the blimp. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have the view from the stands. <laughs> so with God being able to see everything that's coming down the parade route, he knows where we should be and what our timing should be and where we shouldn't be. We only know what we want right now. Mm -hmm. See, Julie, we only know that right now I'd like to leave here and go get me some ice cream. But God knows, <laughs> but God knows that if I delay that, I won't run into somebody that I didn't want to run into. Mm -hmm. See, God knows. He knows how, what life is like. God knows our future, he knows our past, he knows our current. Mm -hmm. The devil doesn't know our future. Mm -hmm. We don't know our future, mm -hmm. but God does. So always remember in your mind that God's thoughts are not your thoughts, and his ways are not your ways, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. And just to let you know, God's thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts, they're higher than the heavens are the earth, mm -hmm. right? His ways are so much higher than our ways, mm -hmm. and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So if we are going to give up anything, we need to give up thinking that we know everything, mm -hmm. that we you know, can make the plans for our lives. We need to give up thinking uh, that doing things our way is going to be successful for us. Mm -hmm. I think many of us have testified today that, yeah, our ways have not helped us. Mm -hmm. We've done some foul things. I was on the phone with a friend yesterday, and I said, you know, well, looking back over my life, and I think about North America, I did some foul stuff. Mm -hmm. I did some really foul things that made me look really idiotic on my job. Mm -hmm. They made me, I'm thinking I'm standing up for myself, but they made me look angry. Mm -hmm. They made me look prideful. Mm -hmm. They made me look arrogant. And, and it was true, because I was putting it out there. But God is such a gentleman and so good that had I done things his way, even my flaws on the inside of me wouldn't have been put out there on the front street. Yeah. So God knows. Last scripture, we're going to jump over to Proverbs. Proverbs be in the book of wisdom. Proverbs chapter 14, and then we'll be done. 14 verse 12. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lastly, the word says that there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is your death. Mm -hmm. And it's not always necessarily physical death, it's spiritual death, it's death of relationships that could have gone on a little longer, you know, it's financial death, you know, it's death of sound mind and sound understanding. I, I, I strongly believe, Shay, that there is a point in everybody's life, we were talking with the young man, there's a point uh, where we can make the decision to either go God's way or not God's way, and mm -hmm. then the consequence can be schizophrenia, the consequence can be bipolar and medical depression. Mm -hmm. I think of when I was hearing this this morning, I was thinking about Jim Jones. Are you guys familiar with Jim Jones? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I came down your street, I found a spot. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, he was like, yes. So Jim Jones, 
Jones was the preacher in San Francisco back in the 70s or 80s, mm -hmm. and uh, he was a false prophet. And he had a whole bunch of people that were coming to his church called the People's Temple, uh, mm -hmm. I can't think of the whole name. Um, and he talked all these people into going to South America, into Guyana, mm -hmm. and to start a kind of a, uh, a compound a community. community yeah. right? And so they were all people of various ages, various races, everybody went down there. And then when he got down there, he had them all, this is where the term drinking the Kool-Aid comes from. <laughs> he had them all go down there after they had given all of their finances, access to their bank accounts, sold all their property, gave them deeds and everything. And they went down there and they had, um, what do you call that? They had uh, put poison in the Kool-Aid. Um, <laughs> and so they put poison in the Kool-Aid, I think it was strychnine, and then put it in the Kool-Aid, um, he was giving it, his workers gave it to all the people and they began to drink it and they began to die. And the, the reason that I bring that up is because during this process of them drinking that Kool-Aid, various people began to have their eyes open and realize mm -hmm. What had happened, right? They realized that they had been deceived. They realized um, that this wasn't right. And so that came to me this morning when, they, when I was reading the scripture that there is a way that seems right unto the man, but the end thereof is death. And so we have to make sure that we put all of our reliance, not just some of our reliance, not just a little bit of our reliance, in the things of God, in God that we read his word, that we study his word, that we pray, that we stay in fellowship with people that are going to keep us on fire and that we yield to the Holy Spirit. And so today we are giving up. We are completely giving up our own wisdom and our own understanding. We're giving up our ungodly appetites, our lack of self-control, and our sinful inclinations in exchange for God's way. God's way is going to bless us. Even though we go through adversity, God's way is still the way of blessing and the way of peace. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. And so we'll hold questions uh, till later. But this goes to show that God knows what he's doing. Um, in prayer today, I'm going to give you a topic to pray for. And when you pray, just pray. You're going to pray against the issue in this population, and then you're going to pray, pray that God saves them and their blessing. And then when you're done, the person right next to you is going to go ahead and start in their prayer. All right? And this is why I say God is so good, because there are 17 adults in here, and I have 17 things wow. on my list. Mm. And I want everybody to understand that it's, if you can only pray for a minute, it's okay. But pray like your life depends on it. Because at one time or another, we were all one of these people on this list. Mm -hmm. So you want to pray like your life depends on it, so that people get saved for real. Amen. 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 All right. So I'm going to give you all what, you, what you're praying for. And we are going to start over here. After Brother James is finished, you're going to pray against ungodly anger, pride, unbelief. I'm going to switch this. Abandonment and orphans for those that have been physically abused <coughs> and the abusers. Am I confusing you guys switching? Okay. Isolation. Loneliness. Poverty and homelessness, addictions, drugs, alcohol, any of those. Gossip and slander, distrust, mothers in the back. Oh, that's perfect. Love for the elderly. Because we have a lot of elders that have been left out. Love and respect for the youth. Tomorrow we're going to pray for those that are in prison. And 
do it. Pray for those that are stingy, miserly, those that don't want to let go of what's in their hands. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with Dana, Brother James, and then we'll just sing that back. Okay? Everybody comfortable? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you again. Yes, yes God. God. Prayer, God. And as we begin, Father, to do your work, God. Today's prayer, you said, God, will be focused on the many life experiences that we've gone through that have caused us to rely on our own wisdom and understanding and not on yours, God. Help us today, God, as we will be praying for these issues in order to set ourselves free and to set others free that may come to the knowledge and understanding of who you really are, God. Amen. So help us, Heavenly Father, to pray, Lord God, as if our lives depend on it, God. Help us to not take this lightly, Lord God, but to take this seriously, oh God. Because God, as the men and women have said, others pray for us, which is why we're here. So stop, Father, we're praying it forward where we are praying for others that they will be here, Father. And we're going to continue, Father, the cycle of bringing in souls to your kingdom. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your name, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we just thank you for the spirit of your people, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Allow us to remember that our bodies are your temple, thank Lord you, God, for the Holy Spirit to dwell and for you to dwell in these places, God. I thank you that we will continue to give you which, which we are enticed by and it's just dragged away, Lord God. We no longer want to do that. The people of God included, the people who are not saved, those who don't even know what they're doing, Lord God. We just bind that in Jesus' name. We bind the lie just because fornication is not in the Bible or it's not taught or whatever. We bind that in Jesus' name because it is sexual yes, sin, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that we literally will treat our, our temples as li living sacrifices, Lord God, and giving, and giving up all of what we thought is possible, all of what we think we know. Lord, allow us just to submit those evil thoughts to you right now in Jesus' name and cast that back to whence it came, Lord God. So I just thank you, Heavenly Father, that we will have a transformed mind and a transformed heart, Lord God. I thank you that we literally will be focused on the mission and not our lustful desires, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you literally will shield the, um, the eyes of your people from what's out there, Lord God, because it's in the media, it's in everything. The kids are looking at them, they don't even know what they're looking at. And the devil is trying to literally desensitize them to what sexual immorality really is, Lord God. But I thank you, Lord God, that you will pull that wool from over their eyes, Lord God, and you will expose the enemy for what he is, because you you literally talk to the children more than you talk to us anyway. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you will allow them to experience you in such a way, even right now, God, that they will literally be the true worshipers that you are searching for and looking for, Lord God, in the land. I thank you that the next generation will not be fooled by all this, this Tom foolery and foolishness on the television, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that even the grown-ups now will also understand that we also must submit our bodies to you, our minds, our thoughts, are the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we look at things. May we no longer look at things and and and, and be blind to what it really is, Lord God. Reveal to us the hidden agendas in our hearts. Reveal to us those areas that need to be exposed, Lord God. Let the drops come up, Lord God. Continue to put us in the fire, Lord. Show us those areas that we are unaware of. Shield us from the, the places that we go that unbeknownst to us, Lord God, and what the enemy is literally just trying to put in our in our psyche, Lord God. So I just thank you, Lord God, that it will no longer be anything that we look at we will be able to identify for what it is and turn it off. That we will no longer sit there and entertain those television shows that literally have soft porn, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you or people will be held accountable for what their eye gate sees, Lord God. I thank you that they will begin to literally stand for righteousness and not just because it's a thing to do. I thank you, Lord God, that everybody in this room will become trendsetters, Lord God. That they will literally have no problem saying, no, I can't do that. Or no, that's not for me. Or no, we shouldn't be looking at that. I thank you, Lord God, that the boldness of the Holy Spirit will come among your people and they will no longer stand for sexual immorality, Lord God. They will no longer allow the people around them to willingly die, Lord God. They will literally speak life into that situation and tell them no. Tell them that's not right, Lord God. I pray that the parents who are raising children, Lord God, will show them that show their children what it is to be a, li a walking, living sacrifice for Christ, Lord God, so that their children will not depart from that, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for the mothers in here, Lord God, will that will show their daughters that literally their body is your temple and they are to cover it as accordingly, Lord God, that they will no longer think that they literally have to, to result to the ways of the world yeah. to get a man, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that they will walk with with with, with the with, um, 
with the, the intensity that you have given them, that they will bestow wisdom upon their children, that they will not make these silly decisions, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that the mothers will literally try to pour into their daughters, Lord God. I thank you that they will sit down with them, that they will talk to them, that they will nurture them, that they will give them an understanding, that they will also be... be um, Examples of how their how their sons are supposed to treat women as well, Lord God, or how how they're the women that they're supposed to look upon, Lord God, and that the mothers will not dress like the like the world, Lord God, but they will dress like the women of God that you have called them to be, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, right now, just for the minds of everybody in this room and the minds of the saints that are literally serious about growing in Christ. And I pray, Lord God, that they will literally the Holy Spirit convict us to know and allow no slumber when we are literally moving away from the things of God or, or exemplifying something that God. I did not mean for us to put out there. I thank you, Lord God, that we will understand that people are watching us. They are they are waiting for something, but allow them to be waiting for you because we are in your presence, doing what you have told us to do, caring for what you told us to care for, Lord God. Allow us to be on the mindset of just your mission, making disciples, and not worrying about what this person says, what that person says, Lord God. And I just thank you just for covering us, Lord God, and understand that sexual intimacy under the covenant of Christ is where it's supposed to be. Thank you, Jesus.
Bless your name, hallelujah, bless your name, God. Bless your name, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Jesus, thank you. Dear God, I would like to take this time to reach out to you uh, in order to pray. Pray for defense against anger, anger, wrath, resentment, all of those being all of those tied to all of those going hand in hand as great consumers, great consumers, great devourers of our souls and of our capacity to feel love or to feel reason. God in this house, there is no reason to be angry at anyone, whether they be outside the church, in the church, or at you, especially not you. In this time, I ask that you make us peacekeepers. Give us, give us the strength and give us the know-how to reach out to others who may be feeling some sort of anger or frustration in their lives or resentment towards a particular person. And help us, help us reach them down on a, reach out to them on a spiritual level and heal their hearts. I trust you, God. I trust that you can bring us through dark times when people are being consumed by wrath. They say that wrath itself is what is tied to Satan himself. It's what he it's what he tries to infect in our in the souls of mankind, and it's something that he tries to bring out in all of us at the worst of times and at the best of times, when we're, whether we're seeking justice or retribution for what we see as an injustice, for what we see as an injustice or infraction on our part. We try to take matters into our own hands, and that's when we've truly been consumed by wrath. So please protect us from moments like that. And help us. Help us become peaceful keepers as well as peace givers yes. through you. Yes. Thank you for listening to my prayer. Holy Spirit, I ask that you just bind up pride, Father God. I ask that you let those who are prideful know that we know nothing, God, and we want to be near you, Father. Yes. Pride it makes us blind to what you want to show us, Father God, because we as humans don't know the power and the glory that you have for us, Father God. And I ask that you just let us all know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, Father God, and the things that we do by our own hands, Father, are not what you have for us. Because there is so much more for what you have for us, Father God. So please just bind up that pride. Yes. Help us break that bond of pride, Father God. Help us release that. Because it's not what we need. It's not what we can have. It's not what we can carry on. Because the glory is in you, Father God. Yes, yes, yes. Father, I just ask that you break any bond of pride, Father. Because it is in you where we are great, where we find our greatness, Father God. Because we are just reflections of you, Father God, in your light, Father. Unbelief must be the sister to disbelief. 
Unbelief is the lack of, the absence of faith, Father God. Disbelief is the refusal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm guilty of that, Father. I'm guilty of that. So I know that if I see that in myself, Father God, I know how to pray. I know how to pray and ask, Lord, for number one, forgiveness for that disbelief, Father God, that sister to unbelief, Father God. They must walk together, Lord. Yet, Father, I pray that anyone who is suffering from that great travesty and tragedy and abomination, abomination of life, Lord, it is the exact opposite of life, Father. How can you have lack of faith when you have life? Lord, I pray that anyone who is in that place, Father, because then they must not even be aware, Lord, of their great transgression and their great loss. Father, I pray that you, you turn them around. I pray that you turn them around so that they can see the path, so they can see how far you brought them, Lord. I pray that you clear their eyes of their pride and their anger and their fear and their worldly desires, Father God. I pray that you clear them of those things, Father, so that they can see how how wonderful you are, so they can see your works, Father. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and, and be floored, <laughs> and be floored by your greatness. Father, I pray that in this house, Lord, that we walk in faith and in trust, Father God, in such a way that we can't be convicted of not unbelief, Lord, but disbelief. Father, I pray that we believe. Yes. I pray for belief, for faith in you, Jesus. You tell us you're the way, the truth, and the light, Lord. Thank you, Father. I pray that you show this, this world the way. I pray that you reveal the truth, Father God. And I pray that you continue to shine your light. I pray that those who are awakened, Father, seek the light. I pray that they seek the light, Lord, so that they can be clean, so that that light can burn away all of the, 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 the dirt and the, the, the dust and, and, and the infection, Lord, that we allow ourselves to be exposed to, Father God, when we, when we remain in the dark too long, the mold, the mildew, Father God, not just of the body, but of the spirit. Father, I pray that I pray that you have your way in us and in those whose time it is, Father, to be brought to the light, the truth. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We just give you praise. We honor you today, O God. You are a great God, Lord. I come before you, O oh God, Lord, on behalf of the abuse, O oh God, Lord. Yes, the little boys and the little girls, O oh God, Lord. The men and the women, O oh God, who've been abused in their life, Lord. The physical, Lord, the mental, O oh God, Lord. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, O oh God, Lord, one that we send your word to those who are presently in abuse, O oh God, Lord. Who are presently being tormented by another person, God. I pray right now, O oh God, Lord, that they would look to you, O oh God, Lord. That they would know that there is a God who is taking care of them and that is aware of their situation, O oh God, Lord. But today, God, I'm asking for freedom, O oh God, Lord. I'm asking for freedom even in this house, O oh God, Lord. Where there are many in here who have been abused, O oh God, Lord. Who have been touched inappropriately as a young person, O oh God, Lord. Who have been abused in relationships as adults, O oh God, Lord. And I'm praying right now, Lord, that the freedom, O oh God, that you gave us when you died on Calvary's cross would be ours today. God. We would declare, Lord, that we are no longer victims, but that we are victors in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I, I declare, oh God, today, Lord, that we are not held and bound by the past and the shame of that abuse, oh God. I pray that abuse 
uh, that the shame, Lord, that, uh, that uh, uh, attached to abuse, Lord, Lord, will be released, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you, oh God, Lord, that you have given me freedom, oh God, Lord, from the abuses I have suffered, oh God, even as a child, oh God, Lord. And I thank you, oh God, Lord, that there is no condemnation in Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, but there is freedom, oh God, Lord. You, oh God, Lord, you said by your stripes that we are healed, oh God. So I'm praying today, God, Lord, that we would tap into the, the healing power of Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord. And God, Lord, we just pray, oh God, Lord, even for those who have committed the acts, oh God, Lord. We pray, oh God, Lord, that, the, that there would be forgiveness, oh God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord, that we would forgive those, Lord, who have been abusive, oh God, Lord. And remember that Jesus even said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do, oh God. We ask God for their healing today, oh God, Lord. We ask God, Lord, that whatever triggered, Lord, this authority, this position of, of power, oh God, Lord, to uh, harm another human being, oh God, Lord, that, God, you would reveal it, Lord, and that you would break them of it, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, we need you today, Lord. It is so evident, oh God, Lord, the corruption that has been um, um, uh, in, in churches, oh God. Now, now we're finding out all the corruption that's been in industries and, and in corporations, oh God, Lord. And we're asking, oh God, Lord, and we thank you, oh God, Lord, for bringing all of it to light, oh God, Lord. We thank you, God, Lord, that no longer the people who have been abused have to live in the dark and the shame of that, oh God, Lord. Yes. That they can be free, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. That they can declare, Lord, uh, that they too have been been uh, hurt and been uh, 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 violated, oh God, Lord. So we declare today, oh God, Lord, and we ask, oh God, Lord, that you will protect even those who are here, even the young people here, God. Cover them in the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord. We prevail, we bind any, uh, any acts, oh God, of the enemy, oh God, to try and cover them, oh God, Lord. Cover their bodies or cover their minds, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you will cover them with a hedge of protection around them, oh God, Lord. That any deception, Lord, any perversion, oh God, would be removed in the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord. We pray God, Lord, that parents, oh God, Lord, will protect their children, that guardians will protect their children, oh God, Lord, from uh, 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 these abusers, oh God, Lord, and that they wouldn't turn a blind eye, Lord, knowing good, good and well, oh God, what's happening, oh God, Lord. We just ask God, Lord, for your protection, oh God, Lord, that young people, that elders, oh God, Lord, that all those who are suffer from uh, abuse, oh God, Lord, would be free today, oh God, Lord. And I pray, God, Lord, if there's anybody in this house, oh God, Lord, that is suffering from abuse, men or physical right now, that they would be free today in the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord. That they would declare to, to you, God, to someone, oh God, I'm being abused. Someone is treating me wrong, Lord. And that they would come out, Lord, and that they would be free in the name of Jesus, Lord. And that they would know that there are people who have been where they are at, but they are free in Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. We declare, God, Lord, the freedom that you have given us, oh God, Lord. And that we will no longer walk in sadness and depression, oh God, Lord. But, Lord, that there is freedom, oh God, in you, God, Lord. We just thank you, oh God, Lord, that you are a healer, Lord, that you are a forgiver of our sins, oh God, Lord. And we pray again, oh God, Lord, for those who are committing the acts, oh God, Lord. I feel right now, Lord, that oftentimes we become judgmental, but God, Lord, we know, Lord, that you can deliver them to God. And so, God, Lord, we're asking, Lord, for uh, 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 testimonies of deliverance even from that behavior, oh God, Lord, because you're that kind of God, Lord. That you can heal the abuser and the abused, God. We thank you, oh God. We give you glory today, God. Lord. We are grateful for what you're about to do and what you're doing, oh God. Lord. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. Lord. We bless your name. We glorify you, oh God. Our Father. Our Father, our Father, our Father, we cry out to you today, Father God. I cry out to you, Father God, on behalf of the abandoned and the orphan, Father yes. God. Your word says that we are to care for the widow yes. and the fatherless, Father God. Yes. So we pray, Father God, that they will not feel abandoned, Father God. Yes. And they will not feel like they don't have a father. Because in you, Father God, yes. there is comfort in you. Yes. There is shelter. In you, yes. there is a father that we can call on and rely on and that will take care yes. of us, Father God. So I pray, Father God, that you remove any feelings from them, Father God, of unworthiness, that you will remove any, any feelings of, um, of lack, Father God, and instead that you would supply all their needs a hundredfold, Father God, that you would send the people, Father God, because your word says that we are to honor them and that we are to care for them, Father God. So I pray, Father God, that each one of us, that you would touch us, Father God, yes, that yes. we would even, Father God, reach out to 
to a widow or an orphan, Father God. Mm -hmm. That we won't be so self-centered, Father God, yes. but instead yes. that we'll be obedient yes. to your word, Thank Father you, God. God. Yes, because they God. need us, Father God. Yes, they they need you, Father God. Yes. And so we ask, Father God, that they will feel protected. We ask that you would cover them, Father God. Yes. We ask, Father God, that everything that they lost, Father yes. God, that you will restore them, Father God. Yes. That you will renew them, Father God. That yes. you will give them what they need right when they need it, Father God. Yes. That you would give them shelter and comfort, Father God, yes. because they need it, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for, for orphans, Father God. We thank you for the widow, Father God. Yes. And we pray, Father God, that we won't leave them in the dark, Father God. Yes. That we won't leave them hanging, Father God. But instead, Father God, we will reach out and touch, Father God. Yes. We will reach out and touch them. We will care for them. We will comfort them, Father God. We will take them where they need to go, Father God. We will provide support to them, Father God. We will give them prayer, Father God. We will give them what they need, Father God, so that we can be a people that are honored, Father God, by you, Father God. We pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would touch them right now, Father God. Yes. Even if we have some in the midst of our own lives, Father God, that you would touch us right now, Father God, yeah. and put that person on our heart, Father God, that this week, Father God, we would reach out to them, Father God, no matter how much time has passed, Father God, but that we will reach out, Father God, even our own Renee, Father God, you just showed me, Father God, that we need to touch her, Father God, yes. that we need to care for her, Father God, and it starts within our own family, Father God, and so, Father God, I pray that we will comfort her, Father God. Yes, we know that it's not yes, easy to lose a loved one, Father God. It's not easy, Father God, but we pray and sometimes we forget after the funeral, Father God, and years past, we forget, Father God, but they still need us, Father yes, God. Yes, so I pray, yes, Father yes, God, that we will yes. we will reach out, Father God. We will touch, we will comfort, and we will uplift, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray for isolation and those who are isolated, Lord. Those who do not know you and have chosen to separate themselves, Lord. For those that live in darkness, Lord. For those that live in fear. For those that do not know the way to live, Lord. We pray for those that are isolated. And may they know who you are, Lord. May they know who you are so that they can be free. So that they can live the life that you have granted them, Lord. And no longer live a life in fear, Lord. Or even to just live a life of the unknown. Because all they know is to be isolated, Lord. Yes. And as the word isolated was given to me, the Holy Spirit told me that we must pray for those that are isolated within the church, Lord. Yes. Yes. For those yes. that are yes. part yes. of the church, but still feel Hallelujah. that they have nowhere to go. Yes. Yes. They still live a life of confusion. Yes. Yes. They still live a life of uncertainty yes. and a life of sin because they feel yes. isolated within yes. their church. Yes. Where they are not held accountable, where they do not have a family, Lord. Yes. So when we pray for these people and hope that you show them that there is a way, Lord, and it's your way, Lord, yes. and that they don't have to be alone. But none of us are ever alone if we just give ourselves to you, Lord, and receive you, Lord, in the way that you deem fit, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you, Father, for those that are lonely, oh God. Yes, we thank you and praise you, O oh Lord God, for those that feel that they have no one to turn to, O oh Lord God. That feel that they have no one in their corner, O oh Lord God. That feel that they don't have anyone to be able to vent to, God, or to hear yes. their cries, God. We're praying, O oh Lord God, for those people today, God, those with the lonely hearts, O oh Lord God. That think that the world is against them, God. That think that you don't hear them, O oh God. We are praying for their souls today, God, and we're asking, God, that you she would put people in their lives for their lives, yes. Yes. God. And she would put yes. people in their lives yes. to encourage them, oh God, and to edify them, oh God. People in their lives to hear, Lord God, what their issues and their concerns are, God. That you would put people in their lives to love on them as far as they got to love on them, oh Lord God. Lord, we are praying for those souls, God. We're praying for those singles in this in ministry, God, here and in the body of Christ, God, who want to be married, oh Lord God, who, who want, Lord God, to, to have a companion, God. We're praying for their souls as well, oh Lord God. Do not let loneliness, oh Lord God, drive your people, Father, to do yes, sinful Father. things, Father. Yes. We're praying, Heavenly Father, that we, Lord God, will be even more knit together, more closely knit together, oh God, that the spirit of loneliness, oh God, will not prevail over your souls, Father. Help your souls to know, God, that you have our best interest in heart, God, and that you, oh Lord God, will send someone in our lives in the proper season, Father. 
Help us to prepare our hearts, Father, for that season. Yes. But Lord, don't allow us to be lonely anymore, oh God. Yes. Because with loneliness comes desperation, God. Yes. And with desperation comes isolation, God. Yes. Yes. And so God, help us, oh God, to find ourselves in the midst of people, oh Lord God, yes. that love us, oh God, and that care for us, oh God. Yes. And take the blinder off of the lonely's eyes, God. Yeah. But they'll see that there are people available for them, God, to minister yeah, to their yeah, souls, yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God. Bless you, Amen. Amen. Bless you Jesus. Father God, just coming right now, thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, yeah. just to uh, be in your presence, Father. I thank you for each and every person that is present, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for the instruction of, of those things to pray for, Lord God. And right now, Lord, I lift up your people, Lord God, who are experiencing poverty and homelessness. I look around, Lord God, and you see people who are lost, Lord God, who are who uh, don't have homes, Lord God, who are experiencing um, difficulties financially, Lord God, who have been displaced, Lord God. I ask that you just open up, uh, open up finances, Lord God, through uh, funding, Lord God, that that programs that are being closed, Lord God, will start to open up with the proper adequate funds, Lord God, that um, the allocation will be right, Lord God, that you will start to remove discrimination and business, Lord God, that you will start to remove classism, Lord God, that you will start to um, give people compassionate hearts, Lord God, to adopt yes, people yes. as less than, Lord God, or like that's a them situation or their situation, Lord God, that, that people will start to have loving hearts, Lord God, that they will give generously, Lord God, that they will see this as a worldly issue, issue and not just a them issue, Lord God, that uh, barriers, Lord God, and race, um, races that, that are top, race that is tied to this, Lord God, will be broken, that that uh, boundaries, Lord God, and, and certain cities that are tied to this, Lord God, will be broken, Lord God, that we will start to see uh, our streets cleaned up in a way, Lord God, where people aren't treated animalistic, Lord God, but they are given the proper resources and funding that they need, Lord God, to get their get back on their feet, Lord God, that that uh, uh, homes will start to open up again, Lord God, that adequate um, mental health services to accompany yes, that, Lord yes, God, yes, will be put yes, into place, yes, Lord God, that your yes, people yes, will be, uh, you will put the proper people in place to touch yes, people, Lord God, to, to open up more services, Lord God, to open up more um, more hearts and minds, Lord God, to this to this uh, this uh, population of people, Lord God. And I also ask, Lord God, that you just touch those who know you, Lord God, but still have an impoverished mind. Yes. Yes. That you touch yes. those, Lord yes. God, who yes. still yes. believe that they aren't enough or don't have enough, Lord God, or they don't trust you and have That's enough faith, Lord God, to believe that you provide, Lord yes. God. So I ask that you take the shackles off of our mind and that yes. impoverished uh, uh, mindset, Lord God, uh, those of us who fear, Lord God, being yes. impoverished, Lord yes. God, those of us who don't keep the Sabbath day because we work so hard trying to keep from being impoverished, yes. Lord God, that we start to give up Ooh. our desires, Ooh. Lord God, and our fears, Lord God. God, and know that you are and say it time again, Jehovah Jireh, Lord God. How much do we believe that, Lord God? I ask that our desire be to do this in decency and order, Lord yes. God. We know that we are not impoverished when we have you, Lord God. But we are not homeless, Lord God. And if it's your will that we lose everything that yeah. it would be determined as homeless, Lord God, to be uh do your will and your works, Lord God, to minister, Lord God, then we take that, Lord God. Then we take that charge, Lord God, that we will not. We will not see homelessness, Lord God, in the world or the same way, Lord God. And we know that we have a home in you and the kingdom, Lord God. Yes. So I ask right now, Lord God, that you touch yes. each and every one of us that have an impoverished mindset, Lord God. Yes. Those who feel displaced as if they don't have a home, help them understand that they always have a home in your kingdom, Lord God. Yes. That a door will always be open, Lord God. Yes. It is your will that they be free from the burden of having house notes, car notes, and all those different kind of things, Lord God, in order to do your will. Then they will focus on your, your mission for yes. their life. Lord God. Yes. They will take that charge and pick up their cross, Lord God, and they will walk through the streets yes, and do whatever yes, 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 Lord God. Yes. That we won't put weight on material things, Lord God. Yes. That we won't live a standard according to what the world says, Lord God. But we will take what you have for us, Lord God. We will get on our knees and come to a humble place, Lord God, to hear what you want us yeah. to do, Lord God. Yes, yes, and we will not have an impoverished mindset. Why we do it, Lord God? Because it is our goal, Lord God, to hear well done, Lord God, and to find our home in you yes. and your kingdom. 
kingdom, Lord God. So I thank you, Lord, for manifesting in the streets, Lord God, of the homelessness and poverty, Lord God, that funds will be provided and people will take a, a kind heart to shift our streets, Lord God, but also your people, Lord God, who will be free today, Lord God, yeah. and not walk around impoverished, Lord God, and understanding that we always have a home in you, Lord God, yes, in do. Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Lord, we just lift up addiction to you right now, yes. Father. Lord, I thank you, Lord, as every person is praying, Lord, they're all intertwined, they're all interconnected, Father God. And I just yes. thank you, Father God, for the prayers just lifted up by my sister, Father God, about homelessness, Lord, and poverty, Lord. As we know, addiction, addiction and those go hand in hand, Father God. They're going hand with fear, Father God. And they're going hand with isolation, Father God. But right now, we know in the beginning was the word, the word was God, was with God, the word was God. In the beginning was you, Lord. So bring us back to the beginning beginning of yes. the root of who we were yes. in Christ Jesus, yes. that there will be no addiction at the root of our personalities, there will be no addiction at the root of people's faces, that that wouldn't be that identity, but they would have an identity in Christ yes. Jesus, Lord, those yes. that yes. know you and those Samuels that are yet to know you, Father God, Lord, we leave no men behind, Father God, because you said yes. there were no Jew, no Gentile, but we were all in Christ Jesus, Father God, when yes. we come to you, Lord, so we don't identify people by their sin, by their addiction, but by their identity in Christ, yes. who you say they are. Yeah, who they're going to be, Father God. Allow us not to be judgmental, Father God. Allow us to search our hearts and die to self, Father God. Yes. Because we know, yes. Lord, we have addictions, Father God. Yes. I've had addictions, Father God. I've been drinking coffee for my strength and eating sugar for my for my comfort, Lord. And we know, Father God, even though we're not homeless on the streets and even though we might not be in isolation, Lord, we know that addiction is still a, 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 a disobedience, Lord. It is a, 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 a negligence of a mm. negligence of fruits of the Spirit, Lord, because you said have self control father yes, you said yes, have yes, self discipline yes, and self control yes, so Lord we bind up anything that will come against that fruit Lord because yes, we want yes. all the fruit joy yes. peace righteousness we want all of it Lord peace Lord in our yes, minds so we can yes, think yes, straight so we can yes, act yes, right yes, so we can walk right on that narrow path not that wide path that leads to destruction Father God so we bind up addiction at the root Lord because yes. we want to be free Father God we want to be free from porn we want to be free from, from partner worship Father God yes, from wives and husbands yes, yes, we want to be free from sugar addiction and glory Father yes, God, because yes, we can't yes, wait to get out of the out of church and eat some food and worship food. Lord, we don't want to be bound by addiction. We want to be free, Lord. And whether it's cocaine, alcohol, sex, anything, Father God, yes, it's all addiction, yes, Lord. Yes, so it comes yes, yes. with just the, the, the sin label, with the red, the blood all over it, Lord, saying yes, deal with our addictions, yes, deal with our family's yes, addictions, yes, yes, deal with our yes, neighbor's addictions, so we can go out into the world and do what you said to do, which is to go out and preach the good news, Lord. That we wouldn't just speak about it, we would testify about it. We would talk about our problems. That we'd be naked and full of shame before you and the people. That they would see we are not a perfect people. But that's why we need Jesus, Father God. Yeah. So we thank you right now, Lord, for the prayers of addiction. As we try and focus on my voice, as I've been told to pray this prayer, that we would focus on ourselves and where we need yeah. to uproot something so that we can have someone else be delivered from their addiction, Lord. Yeah. We lay yeah. our addictions yeah. right yeah. now yeah. at the foot of the cross right now. All those things, Lord, the coffee, the food, Food, the drugs, the porn, whatever it is, Lord, we yes. know we are we are imperfect, Lord, and we yes. lay at the foot of the cross. And we, Lord, as we pray for those in our family, Lord, and there's a lot of people in this room, Lord, in the church and in, in LA, like, Lord, that suffer with addiction of, 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 of hard drugs, Lord. Drugs that when you try it once, you're hooked, Lord, but we know when we are touched from you once, we can be changed and transformed. So we pray right now all those people will be touched by the hand of God, that they will be touched by the Holy Spirit, that they will be touched by a word of our testimony, Lord. Because we don't want to just be walking around with a light. We don't just want to be walking around with temples with the Holy Spirit. We want to be giving light. We yes, want to be a light yes, in a dark place, Lord. Yes, so I ask you right now, Lord, that when we leave this place, that we would not hold our light, that we would not be shy to pray, yes, that we would go out and preach the good news, yes, that we would touch somebody, yes, hook yes, somebody, yes. and deliver somebody from addiction and from the things we're praying for. We praise you in advance and we pray in expectation, Lord. We will not grow tired of, of praying right now. We will not be distracted by thoughts of what we've got to do. Yes, yes, we will yes, pray and stand firm and stand yes, against the principalities that are stopping us from building the kingdom of God on earth. And yes. we thank you, Lord. Yes. We thank you that you trust us, that you think we are worthy even in our sin, even in our dysfunction, Lord, yeah. that you still see fit for us to be here and be in this house because every yeah. single person has been strategically placed. Yeah. Every yeah. single person, whether they can speak or not speak, Lord, their presence is enough, Lord. Yes. And I thank you, Lord, that you continue to speak to us as a people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Father God, we thank you for bringing us together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
pray that we cast out all gossip. Yes. 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 I pray that we pass out all slander. Yes. Yes. That we know that it is the work of the world and not by you. Yes. 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 We see what gossip and slander does yes. countless times, oh God. It's yes. in our church, Father. It's in our politics, Father. It's in the world, Father. It's even now affecting our children, Father. That's causing us to take one another's life, Father. It causes families to break apart, Father. It causes people to detach from one another. It allows us to fall and to depression. Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that we cast this aside and know that it has no place in your people. Yes. 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 We know that physically yes. what it has done, we know that it caused the Israelites, Father, to gossip with one another and to slander and then to praise a false idol God. Yes. 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 We know that slander allows our, our, your son Jesus Christ to be betrayed. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. slander caused Thank you, Jesus. so much pain. Yes. We pray that we pass this, we cast <coughs> gossip out. In Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. actually can be drawn near to you, God, and build yes. a strong relationship with God, yes. because yes. we play in us through things when we have nowhere else to go but to lean on to you, because yes. people go through their own things, God, or, you know, we just have to always have that people in our lives, God, you love all those things so that we can realize that at the end of it all, we do have to put our faith in you, God. There yes. is nothing that is too great, God. There is nothing that you cannot do. You are the Lord. Jehovah, you yes, can fix yes. anything that comes your way, God. Yes, if not, you will not be God, Lord. Thank you. But for those Jesus. that do not have trust, God, because of people that are person that are in their lives, God, mm -hmm. that are family or friends that they mm -hmm. consider family, God, teach them to understand that everybody is still human, God, and that we cannot put our faith in man, and that yeah. you know, if we can forgive them, God, we also yeah. have to trust them, God. Because those two things in times are hand in hand, and that by your ways, God, as we try, to love the way that you Thank love, you. God, and see things the way that you God. Allow that to build people's ability to be able to trust and yes. to not cast yes. ourselves away from people, God. Because just as relationships with you are important, it is important that we build relationships with another, one another, God, yes. so yes. that we can not only build ourselves deeper within Christ, your son, but also deep, help people build deeper in you as well, God. The enemy wants to kill, steal, and destroy, God, and keep us bounded by his own chains. And we command, God, that he be put in his place, because you are the power. Yes, you are the yes, one that yes, leads yes, us, God. We yes, go by yes, not our yes, own understanding, God, but by yours. And if we need people Jesus. to have trust issues, God, and faith in other people, allow them to realize, God, that with you, anything is possible, God, yes. and that everything will always yes. be okay, God. Yes. Yes. And that those people that they come around where they have no longer the ability to trust God, especially in the sound, teach them to understand, God, that if they keep on praying and keep on trying yes. and keep on persisting that everything will be okay. Yes. Yes. It's going to be Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, you. God. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, God. Lord, I was wondering where you wanted me to go with this. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes. I just thank you for the elder. Yes. yes. Lord, you show me while sitting here that the breakdown <coughs> of love is why the elders are so forgotten. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lord, I just wish and just pray that you would restore love amongst the family. Yes. 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 It's the general breakdown. Generational, yeah. you know, that has destroyed the love of the elder. Yes. Oh, Share forgotten yes. people. Mm -hmm. They're a castaway. Lord, I find that in Jesus' name. Yes. I yes. 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 Restoration of prayer, yes. of family gatherings, yes. of pouring into one another. In Jesus' name, we 
we don't touch each other anymore. Lord. People walk past each other. They don't even speak. Lord, I pray that the by love, you are love. Yes, you yes. said, love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. That is my charge, Lord, yet yes, we're so yes. oblivious to the effects of not loving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because there is no love, yes, God. the people are forgotten. Jesus. You said yes. my Good people love. perish for oh, lack of understanding. Yes, and God. so, Jesus, I just Lift up the old people. Lord, I pray for those in rest homes who haven't heard a voice of a yes. black woman in Lord, Jesus. I just pray a covering over them. Yes, God. I pray Thank for you. the nurses that are walking yes. by them. Yes, yes. They Lord. Open their eyes, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Open their eyes so they can see the people. Yes, yes, yes God. God. Touch them. Don't just pour things in a glass. Touch them. Yes. Say yes. something to them. Speak yes. to their soul, yes. Lord. Yes. Because when you walk in a room and you say something to somebody, you get a response. Yes. And I'm just yes. praying, Lord, that you send yes. nurses in that have a heart for people, Lord. Yes. 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 Shut their minds off, Lord, but yes. open them. Yes. Allow the children to come into the rest yes. home, Lord. Yes. Their grandmothers right there yes. for the grandmotherless. Their yes. grandfathers right there for yes. those children who yes. don't have anyone to love them. Yes. Just yes. Lord, just open it up for them. Lord, let somebody have a heart to just bring it in. Lord. Yes. I pray for the love of the elderly. Yes. Yes. I ask you yes. amongst yes. the people, yes. Lord. The people that you have in your life that are senior, stop ignoring them. Yes. Reach out to them. Include yes. them. Yes. If you got to drive to get them, go get them. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank it you. shouldn't be such a burden because Thank you, Lord. they've been there in your life at some point. Yes. And then, Lord, I just reach out and I know, Lord, this is just for you. Mm -hmm. I bind that demon, that generational curse, mm -hmm. that breakdown. Yes. Ooh, yes. in your family yes. to the women. Yeah. I bind that in a pit of hell. Yes, God. It goes back to where yep. it came from. Yes. 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 In yes. Jesus' yes. name, you walk and you rise up and you love your daughter. You break that generational curse. It stops with you. Yes. It stops with you. Glory to your name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I just praise you and I thank you for all the women that I'm going to tell you to love each other. Because I don't have my parents now, but if I did, Jesus. if I did, I would pour into my parents. I don't care if I have to go jive for you. I don't care if I have to pick you up and carry you. I don't care if I have to food. I don't care if I got to get out of my bed and come to you. That's what the love of the elderly is about. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 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 Forgive them, Father. Yes. Touch them. Yes. Help us to show them the way, Lord. Yes. We, as, as this generation, Father, some of us, as many of us, have lost our way. Yes. Our forefathers, our parents, Lord. Some, we didn't know. We don't know. We weren't shown. There too, Lord, that is that generational curse. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, Father, God, we just ask you to show these young people it's not the haircut. Mm -hmm. It's not the color of your hair or your skin. Yes. It's not the so-called swagger mm -hmm. that you call yourself having with those pants hanging down to your knees. <laughs> Lord, Father God, it's the lack of the spirit <clears throat> that you show. Yes. Until they find you, Lord, that respect can't be found in themselves. Mm -hmm. So I would just ask that each and every one of us here are able to touch someone out there, Lord. Touch a young person. Yes. When we see them, yes. let us not judge their father. Yes. So yes. easy to do. Yes. We know how easy that is because we live with that too. 
from our Father God. Let us be, let us be that light that these young people need to see because the light that they're following will only lead them to darkness. Mm-hmm. We just ask the Lord to put a hedge of protection around them. Cast them as the, like you said, the devil has been saying things that just can't possibly lead them to you. Mm-hmm. It only will lead to destruction. <clears throat> so we ask the Lord that we have to place that hedge of protection around them yes, so that you would be in control. Yes. Father God, that we cast these things out that are not of you. As far as the east is from the west, by yes, the image of the town. Yes. And my Father God, we just ask that the young people, that the young people, and Father, that is just not about the age of under 18, because there are so many young people mm-hmm. my age, mm-hmm. you know, they just, mm-hmm. they just don't see them. They just Jesus. don't get it. Mm-hmm. And we become, we are supposed to be the future. We're supposed to show them. Mm-hmm. And they're supposed to grow up to show the ones behind them. So, our Father God, we ask that we be your life. Yes. We open ourselves up to the young people. Yes. Let us not be afraid of them, Lord. Yeah. Let us not be weary in the walk that we have to walk in building yes. with them. Let us continue to love them. Let us show them what love is because yes. that's what so many of them are lacking. Mm-hmm. They're lacking the love from inside that shows them how to love themselves as well as others. Yes. Let us show them the respect that is needed to love themselves as well as others. Well, Father God, you already know the needs of the young people. And so much has been said here, everything has been said here, Lord, has been about the young people, has been about the future as it is going to, as it should be. And we just ask, Lord, that this future will be the future that you have for us from day one, Lord. We pray that we come back to that, that we can bring our young people with us, Lord. Yes, these God. things we ask and we just thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. For that which you are about to do in each and every life that we make a difference. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 For some, it's poverty. For others, it's diversion. Mm-hmm. 
But I'm in this relationship for other kids with so many poisons. Yes. So many things that you have blessed us with that we have turned into poison. Mm -hmm. God, I find that right now in the name of Jesus, I bring the word that us the ASI in every way and say that that's us apart from you. And I pray, Brother God, with an open mind and hope, Lord, that we all come forth because there are times we are all stingy. Yes, yes, Not yes. just those who are of the world, but those who claim to be of the church as well. Yes, yes, yes. I pray, Brother God, that we stop misrepresenting. Yes, and we represent you with the authority that you have given us to. Yes, yes, yes. You have given us authority over addiction. You have given us authority to love the orphans and the widows, Lord God. You have given us authority to trample over every sin that comes our way. Yes. Yes, yes, we still have that close fence before you. Yes, we yes. see that and we don't see eternal life. Mm -hmm. So look at I'm ready that you just continue to sift through us because that's exactly what the enemy is doing. But he's doing it to kill us. You are doing it to help us grow. Yes, yes, and to be yes, effective yes. for the kingdom of God for it is at hand. Yes, yes, yes. So Lord, I just give honor to you for just yes. Being aware, Lord yeah. God. I pray for more awareness, Lord God. Yeah, the selfish yeah, should understand yeah, that they're yeah, aware, yeah, but yeah, some yeah. don't know that they are selfish. Yeah. They just think it's self-preservation. Yeah. Mm. Like it's a different right. Mm. Oh God, I bind separation and comp uh, uh, compartmentalizing sins. Yes. 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 It is all the yes. same yes. thing, Lord. Yes. 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 The perverted yes. is no better than the killer. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Ooh. The liar is so better. So Lord, I thank you and praise you that you are going to continue to sit yes, through your yes, people yes, and we. Yes, yes. And that you are going to make us better for the kingdom yes, of God. Lord. And that the stingy will understand that being stingy leads to nothing but death. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because what we, are, what we don't want to hold on to, we are pushing ourselves on the throne of our hearts. We are becoming our own idol. We are becoming our God because we are deeming what is going to be beneficial for us and not taking your um, resources, your life, in your direction. For your word says that your thoughts are above our thoughts. Yes. yes, we continue to think that we're smarter than you. Yes. So Lord God, praise you and thank you, my God, just for the revelation. Yes, yes, yes. That we are no better if we are not following the word of God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Exposure to the sins and the issues and the weights and the things, the sins that so easily beset your people, God. Lord, it is our prayer, Lord God, that you would seal up the prayers that have gone forth from the yes, saints Lord. today, God. Yes, and that your angels will begin to move, Lord God, on our behalf, Lord God, yes, in the lives Lord. of those people that we have prayed for. Yes, Lord. Help us, Father, to not just stop praying here today, God, but to continue in prayer for your souls, God. Yes. That you will be glorified, God, and souls will be brought into the kingdom. Yes. We thank you and praise you, God, if there are any heart issues that anyone has had today, that you would comfort their hearts, God. Yes, yes. If they heard anything today, Lord God, that pierced their heart, Lord God, that you would begin to edify them and deal with them in that area of their lives. And so, Lord, we just thank you and praise you for your faithfulness, your kindness, your consideration, your love, Lord God, your justice, and your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. 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 Now, saints, um, we're going to go ahead and have the brothers handle communion. It is not our intent to keep you guys longer, but it is important that we flow with the Spirit of God. And um, so we're going to do communion. So forgive us if you had to go and we went over. But we got, and as we grow bigger, I don't even know why I'm apologizing, but as we grow bigger, sometimes it takes a little more time. So just roll with us. But I hope in that prayer that we were able to prepare our hearts. I am going to put this list of prayers on the Facebook page because a lot of times we often say, um, I don't know what to pray for. So now we can have a list of things to pray for. You can just go there and reflect on it. Um, but it will be there for anyone who wants something to pray for. Amen, Ms. Marla? Um, 
I just I wanted to ask everybody to keep my co-workers and her son in prayer. Um, Wednesday night, um, he was shot in the face. Um, she was. <coughs> and so he's in surgery today. Her name is Laura, and his name is Juan Carlos Garcia Jr. into from her um, she has breast cancer and um, it came back they had given her a death sentence last year May but God is faithful and I, I know that um, she'll pull through um, also Dana and Jason my clients who discovered that their five-month-old baby has a tumor on the brain if we could keep them lifted in prayer as well as baby Lucas yeah. Brittany, she was in a really bad car accident on Thursday. Okay. Um, I just talked to her. She's she's good. Um, she said she has swelling um, on her head and stuff, but but her car is completely totaled. But I was like, but your life is still intact. So mm -hmm. so just just okay. keep praying. Just pray for her healing. Yeah. Anybody else? Oh yeah. I forgot, yeah. And that was on my mind this morning. Okay. I kind of got off a minute here. Okay. 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 Ok